I haven't been able to watch the video back properly because it just it breaks my heart um, hearing like my voice and how upset I was and it oh, ha I'm still upset I'm still heartbroken um, by the fact that they removed me um, from my three month old baby who has no idea that of what's going on. Not innocent until proven guilty. They see us as guilty yeah, until proven innocent. And the way they innocent. acted, as yeah, if, as if we, we were guilty. You know, FBI top ten. Yeah. The way they came out of the car was as if we were FBI top ten. When are they ever going to openly say that we stopped them because they were black? Like they're, they're not going to say that because to them, the, the UK is not racist. But the UK is very racist. And it's just, it's heartbreaking to know that if it's not us, it's going to be somebody else. You know, it's going to be a week, it's a weekly thing. It's not, it's not, you know, once a month, it's a weekly thing that it happens that a black man is stopped in a car um, because he looks suspicious or they can smell cannabis. That's, that's outrageous. Like, it's disgusting. It's the first time, you know, we can move on from here, but it's not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth. It's numerous occasions, you know, I've, and, and it's with both of um, my cars. I get stopped for, for what reason? Because I look like someone they're after, or I look like I, I do drugs, or I look like I can't afford a decent car. Well, it's worth saying the commissioner of the Metropolitan Police, Cressida Dick, uh, has always maintained that the Met are not racist. Um, as I say, they have consistently said there was no wrongdoing in this specific incident. They say that the car was driving away from them at speed. In a statement, uh, the Met Police say officers witnessed a vehicle with blacked out windows that was driving suspiciously, including driving on the wrong side of the road. They indicated for it to stop, but it failed to do so and made off at speed. The officers caught up with the vehicle when it stopped on Lanhill Road. The driver initially refused to get out of the car. Each stop, they say, is dealt with on its own merits at the discretion of individual officers involved. And they go on to say that officers have to make these judgment calls regularly on a daily basis, often in difficult circumstances, and that they've reviewed both footage from social media and the body-worn video of the officers and are satisfied that there is no concern around the officers' conduct. It is worth saying um, that Bianca Williams and her partner both refute that they were driving on the wrong side of the road or that their vehicle was speeding away from police officers. But as I say, you know, this uh, footage clearly a very emotional scene uh, unfolding. You can hear uh, the officers asking the people in the car to remain calm, um, but appearing to pull them from out the car. And we know that the Independent Office for Police Conduct have said that they are looking into this, but as yet no formal investigation has been launched.